really little, the most unlikely mundane items were mesmerized. Appliances mainly. My first fixation was our top-loading Whirlpool clothes washer. Its spin cycle was especially dramatic. The unbalanced feet wobbling violently across the floor like a furious yellow robot that shot fear into the pit of my stomach as it rampaged full of too many wet towels. When that wasn't happening, I would open the lid and watch this fascinating otherworldly contraption run fabric through wash and rinse cycles. My imagination seeing a bottomless roiling well of mysterious foam and plasma. I eventually memorized the different programs and would act them out by standing in the living room with an armful of clothes while churning and whirling like an agitator. <laughs> My grandfather and I found a discarded one on the roadside during one of our walks. For weeks, I carried it around with glee, proudly answering the doorbell with it in hand, which agitated my parents. <laughs> then I got off washing machines and turned to toilets, each with its own abstract face staring up from the bottom of the bowl. Ours had that single that flow system that had a single hole above an upturned semicircle, which to me became a smiling porcelain cyclops with a literal shit-eating grin. <laughs> the space heater in our garage encouraged another round of surreal daydreams. It was low, oblong, and housed in metal, painted with fake wood grain. The front had a grill pattern of pulled diamonds over a metallic chamber protecting the heating element. Those angled interior surfaces reflected one another to create the impression of a glowing, copper-colored spaceship hallway going around blind, hexagonal corners on either end. In my head, it would shrink to miniature, climb through the guard in a special heat suit, and continue around those turns to explore the rest of the vessel and discover its ultimate destination. I still have an imagination but miss the days when a simple visit to the laundry, bathroom, or garage could blow my mind. I've spent much of my adult life chasing that trip, trying to recreate the magic novelty of a beginner's point of view through art, music, travel, chemicals, and a string of honeymoon periods. Sometimes getting close, mostly realizing that you can't go back as long as time goes on. We can glance in that direction along the way to keep sight of our earliest luminescence so that it continues inspiring us wherever we are and lights a brighter forward path. Now go eat some acid and stare into a toaster oven. <laughs>